Soon in GTA Online, guys, we're about to experience a pretty exciting and brand new thing that we've never once had in Grand Theft Auto Online in an update since it was first released in 2013. We're actually going to be getting a brand new Truffaid car. That's right, guys. We're actually going to be receiving a brand new Truffaid car that goes by the name the Nero. Except we're not going to be getting one. We're going to be getting two. So... If you guys do end up enjoying this video, I'm going to talk all about the brand new Neros that are actually going to be coming into Grand Theft Auto 5 online in the coming weeks. Then be sure to go and slap that like button down below as it really does help me out as always. Now let's go. Now that's right guys, we're actually going to be getting a brand new Truffaid car, the Truffaid Nero. And the Truffaid Nero Custom, as it's seemingly called, or the Nero 2 is in the, the code name for it in the files. Now this thing is of course based off the Bugatti Chiron, which I've actually made a video on in the past. Uh, it's actually based on the Bugatti Chiron, Ch Ch Chiron? I don't know. Either way, it's based on that, and it's a brand new Bugatti car in real life that was released in the last year or so. And of course, in Rockstar fashion, they had to keep up with this, they had to make a straight up ripoff of it, and they didn't really go too much out of their way to change the styling of it. Same as the Z-Type and the Adder previously, they've kind of stuck the Truffade car to be nearly identical to the Bugatti counterpart in real life. But, this thing is extremely fast, and like I said, has the two models. One more of a production streetcar, and the Nero 2, which I'm driving right now, as is its codename, the Nero 2, is actually more of a track or a racing version. This thing looks dangerous, it looks mean, and its upgrades go along to prove it. So you can have the massive wing at the back, the massive spoiler, there's so many different spoiler options, I think there's literally about 10 different spoiler options at the back. Two of these spoiler options actually have a fin leading back uh, all the way from the spoiler to the uh, the back of the roof. It looks so, so nice. I made sure to go with this really bright colour here. I went for a main carbon colour through the middle of it and all around the sides, the, the, main, the primary colour of this is actually ultra blue with a really bright pearlescent uh, look to it. I left the wheels as it is. You can see there, we, we of course always leave the um, the wheels on an on a Truffaid car. You always leave them to the originals because they they're so unique. They really do look nice, and this uh, and this Nero is no exception. The back of this looks absolutely stunning. I really, really love the carbon fiber look on this. Uh, you can have the different splitters at the back at the bottom. Uh, you can choose loads of different exhaust types. Um, you can either have them split or a single uh, one-piece exhaust pipe. Or like I had here, actually kind of this hexagon in the middle uh, with six different exhausts within it. It just looks absolutely stunning. I'm so in love with this carbon look on it and I feel like on a real like hardcore racing car like this, the, uh, the carbon fiber is an absolute must because it just looks so, so nice. I think you can actually have a bigger spoiler than this. I didn't go for the biggest one, I don't believe, but I also made that carbon fiber. It links to the, the back of the roof. You can see even the covers on the engine um, through the back window there. Even the covers are in bright blue. They're in ultra blue. Just the styling of this thing looks absolutely stunning. The front of this is just a 100% carbon copy of the, of the Bugatti Chiron. There's no real difference there at all. The sides look pretty similar. But it just looks absolutely beautiful. We have chrome pickups all along the uh, the door arches there. It looks very, very nice. And the, the rear brake lights also look pretty stunning, just having these thin kind of uh, the red lights all around the sides. The front of the Nero just looks very aggressive. It has these really low kind of slit looking headlights. Um, and to go alongside them, you can actually choose over the, the wheel arches. You can choose the different types of arches there. Uh, and actually in the chassis upgrades, you're able to add extra vents to it. The bonnet can be fully upgraded with loads of different vents. Again, there's about nine or ten different versions of this. Now, let's talk about the price in GTA Online. Because at first I swore this was a mistake. Now we know that the import-export DLC, while not cheap by any means, was not as insanely expensive as we've seen plenty of updates in the past. Some of them just go crazy numbers. Um, even stuff like the yachts were like 10 million, and even that I thought was kind of the start of Rockstar kind of slightly lowering the prices on their DLCs to a slightly more reasonable levels. But, and this is actually no exception because this shocked me to be honest. The Nero, when it comes into GTA Online, in the coming weeks we have no real ETA on this, is actually going to clock in at only 1,440,000. That's nothing. That's absolutely nothing. For a brand new Truffade car, which people are going to go out of their way to buy just because it's a new Bugatti car, of course, I'd say the Adder. Through the best part of the first, I don't know, six, seven months of GTA Online when it first came out, was still the go-to kind of high-rolling, really sporty car. Of course, for main racing, people did kind of go for the Entity XF primarily, if you guys have ever played like since day one as we have. Um, but the Adder was still always the go-to show, yes, I have a lot of money in GTA Online because people really care about that. At the time, a million dollars was a lot of money. 
And I feel like Rockstar could kind of gotten away with maybe putting this in the ballpark of like two, two point two or three million dollars, and people would still have gone for it because we've had many more expensive um, supercars in the past. For example, the T20, I believe, came in at one point seven million or so, and the T20 must have been over a year ago now, probably near a year and a half, right? And that thing was pretty expensive at the time, and it was a really high performance car. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to be the next top racer. I don't think it is. It doesn't feel as fast as some of the fastest cars in GT Online, like the RE7B, which I think is still the most expensive supercar to date in GT Online. I don't think it's anywhere near as quick as that, or even if it is in terms of raw top speed, the RE7B just wins around the track nearly every time, even today, months after the updates come out, just because it has that just raw strength and the raw downfall gripping it to the ground. This thing doesn't have it. What it does have on its side is looks, because this thing is just absolutely beautiful. So if you're planning on picking this up in GTA Online, first leave a comment down below telling me if you are excited for it, because you have so many customization options for this. But you can't really be expecting it to be beating any lap times anytime soon, because while it is very fast, stuff like the RE7B is just going to be leading it still, because this thing is made to look stunning. It's made to be fast. But it's not made to be winning any track days because it's it's while well, it has that great acceleration and uh, and top speed of any Trofade or Bugatti car, the thing just doesn't have the grip and the downforce to go along with it. But that's pretty much all I have to say about the brand new Nero yet to be coming into GTA Online in the coming weeks. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, then be sure to go and drop a like down below as it really would help me out. As always, it massively supports the channel. Subscribe for more videos just like this coming very soon. I have one more actually coming tomorrow about yet another unreleased GTA 5 car that came in in the Import-Export DLC. I actually have another one that I uploaded earlier today, which may or may not have been a brand new Fista Comet based off the 911 GT3, and I'm so excited for that. But yet again, that is pretty much all I have to say. Thank you guys all very much for watching. My name has been Flair, signing out.